guys, so today I've been making a geo canvas and I thought it'd be pretty cool to show you how to make one. Now here are all the supplies that you need. You can find any of these items in Amazon, Michaels, Walmart, or Hobby Lobby. Now I do suggest that when you're looking for your resin, you shop around just because resin can get a bit pricey. If I'm not mistaken, I purchased this at Michaels for around $30 and was able to use a 40% off coupon. However, if I need to get a gallon or more, I most likely will purchase it from Amazon and it'll cost about $60 to $70. You will also need some silicone cups. Now, if you don't have, you can use plastic cups. I'll be using both, but you will still need a measuring cup. It's very important to add the equal parts of resin. If not, it won't cure. And you will need some rubbing alcohol, preferably 91%. Now, if you can't find 91%, you can get the 70%. Just know that it's a bit more stronger when it comes to cleaning the cups. And what I usually like to do is add my alcohol into my spray bottle. It just makes my life a bit more easier and I don't waste any alcohol. You will also need some popsicle sticks, one for each cup that you use, and a canvas. I purchased this canvas at Michaels. It came in a pack of like five or six and it was about $10. Now this is a 10 by 10 stretch canvas. You can get any size you like. You will also need some painter's tape. Now the painter's tape, we are going to apply it to the back of the canvas just to protect it. What happens is after you add the resin to your canvas, it will begin to drip. And if you have nothing in the back of the canvas, it will form these bubbles that is hard to remove. Now, if you do manage to remove them nine out of 10 times, you will mess up this piece of the, of the canvas. So to avoid that, we'll just add the painter's tape and keep it on for about five hours and attempt to remove it. Once it's removed, you'll have a nice clean surface. So some of the tools that you're gonna need is a heat gun. I purchased this at Michael's, no, I'm sorry, at Amazon for about $15. And if you can't get one, you can use a blow dryer. Just make sure that you put the nozzle on the top and you keep it at a low temp and not as close to the canvas because you don't want to mess up any of your designs. You will also need a torch gun. This I purchased at Amazon and it was about $15 as well. And the purpose for the torch gun is that after you apply the resin to the canvas, you wait about 15 minutes and you're going to see all these bubbles rise up. So you'll hit it with the torch gun and it'll all disappear. Now, one thing about resin that you need to keep in mind is that it's a harmful chemical and you do not want it to touch your skin or breathe it in. So you need to get a box of gloves and always wear your gloves when you're dealing with the resin, even when you're cleaning the cups out. You don't want to breathe it in. You don't want to touch it. And if it gets stuck on any of your material, clean it up quickly with the alcohol. This is what the alcohol is for. You clean it up quickly because if not, it will stay there permanently. So now that you have all your supplies, I am going to set up for part two and hopefully you can join me.